Hi guys, this is Priscilla Nyeria at Changala Kalama in Machakos County here to do a farm follow-up on Wambugu apples and also peaches. We always say that these apples do very well in any climatic condition and any type of soil. And this time round, I have come to follow up on how they are actually doing or how they are adapting in this particular region. Remember, those who know Kalama is based somewhere around the mountain. And that's why we had to come and see how they are doing. And to my observation, we have seen that these plants were dormant for a certain period of time and it is time they are breaking the dormancy. That's why you can see most of them are flowering. It's a sign of breaking the dormancy. And my farmer had put more efforts by putting this mulching because here they have a major problem in water. They don't have enough water. So that's why you see the heads put this mulching to help them in maintaining the moisture because water is a challenge. And after the rains, that's why you see they have started to, to pick or to, to shoot again. The plant is five months, which is not looking very, very well for the five months. But I can tell that they have already started to shoot after the rainy season that is ongoing right now. Also, I had advised him to tip or to cut the heads and as you can see they are already responding very well the branches are now forming and within a month i'm very sure this plant will be having more branches than it is having right now putting in mind that the rains are still on we had delivered more than 500 plants but i can see the best part of it is that most of all of them survived out of the 500 all of them survived we didn't have any mortality rate and the fact that they were dormant because of lack of enough water it is also good to note that they will still peak because the far because it is raining already we have that support system from the rain but i've also requested the farmer to put more efforts in watering this apple remember during dry season you need 20 liters of water every week per plant. So you need, if you want to invest in 500 plants, you need to, to be watering it 20 times 500, which is 10,000 liters of water every week. You have to budget that on you. Also, I've observed that the plant had some fungal that were trying to affect it. That is by folding the leaves, you see? The leaves were folding as a sign of fungal or baridi. You know, putting in mind that this place is uh, along the mountain, that is why you see this is also a challenge. I didn't notice any, any problem when it comes to pests, only the fungal, which is not very prone. The only problem with this farm is stunted growth. Yeah, that is the problem or the major problem stunted growth or dormancy due to and the solution to that is due to is to give enough water we have different sections and especially for the apples they look the same although we have others which are trying to do very well like this one here is trying to pick up very well I also love the fact that the farmer has also planted the beans. They will help in fixing nitrogen in the soil and hence help this plant to start branching very, very well. And in case your plant looks like this one, which is here, this is really dormant and also infected with the fungal infection. I advised them to put some more ashes to help in um, creating more air space in the soil and hence making the soil to start consuming the nutrients, the, the, the roots start consuming the nutrients available in the soil. So the advantage of putting ashes, uh, that is the wood ash uh, or the charcoal dust, it is to help in creating aeration in the soil, making it easy for the 
roots to consume the nutrients available in the soil. So for a plant like this one, it means that it is not able to, the nutrients are there in the soil, but the roots are not able to get those nutrients so that it can feed the plant and to grow. So that is some of the challenges that our farmers are facing and we have solutions in that. And to boost growth, always encourage in cutting the heads so that they start branching. And while going for a bean, it's good to look for the one that is not climbing on, on the plants. Or if you are planting the one that is climbing so much, make sure it's away the plant. Because if it comes and accumulates so much on our upper plant, it can encourage a lot of fungal because it is bringing coldness to this particular place. That's why you see, like this plant, these leaves are folding and they are turning color because they are not able to get direct sunlight. So it's good to observe on that. That's why I recommend the yellow bean that is not a climber. Also, I also plant a yellow bean that is not a climber. It's good to note that. We also have a peach section. So in this case, I've noted that the plant were dormant due to lack of enough water and also some fungal infection. Those are the two major challenges in apples in this farm or in this mountain. So let's go and see the peaches. Well, when it comes to peaches, you can see peaches is a very hard plant. It's really adapting very, very well here. Can you believe that the peaches were planted at the same time with that apples? And you see how they are doing very, very well. For the peaches, you have to give a longer distance for about four meters by four meters apart because this plant gets wider. And also when it comes to production, peaches produces more or much more than the apples. A one year plant of peaches is able to give you more than 50 kilos of fruits. Yeah, and you can see it is only five, five months and the plant is really adapting very well, branching very well. And it's good to note that peaches you don't have to tip or, you know, induce any nitrogen for branches. No, it does that work on its own. So for the peaches here, I commend and I say peaches are doing very, very well. They planted with manure in a hole of two feet cube and then a distance of four meters by four meters. And the quantity of manure that was put in one um, hole is 20 kgs of manure. And they have been adding, they added recently, as you can see, and their manure is well decomposed. And that's why you can see the, that's why the peaches are responding very, very well. We have the golden peach, and also in varieties of peaches, we have the nectarine and apricot. And when it comes to market for this, this is the most expensive fruit that we are having right now. A plant going for 10,000 and a kilo of fruit going for 1,000 to 2,000, the market price. And as you can see, it's not complicated to grow, even with little quantity of water, like you can see here, compared to the apples, the peaches will still adapt to that environment. You just need some, like 10 kgs, a liters of water is enough to feed your peaches. And you don't have to pesticide, not unless the pests are really attacking your peach or even fungicide, not unless they are really affecting your peach. Although we had some which are dormant, like two only, but I also noticed that it is the same problem with the apples not consuming the nutrients available in the soil. And I, have, I had advised the farmer to apply the wood ashes in this one, which was not responding very well. And after that, you can see it's now breaking the dormancy and it is growing. So this is the ashes that I'm talking about. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. It's this ashes, the wood ashes. So basically, according to me, the peaches did the best in this particular farm, but the apples are still struggling, you know? 
as you can see compared to the previous farm that we were at the apples are really asking for more water so mwalimu check on that the owner of this farm is mwalimu in this particular area so i'm very happy to have visited and to step my foot in this farm i always say my foot are blessed whenever i step in your farm you must have bumper harvest whenever you buy a plant from me you know i already touched it even if i didn't come physically it is already blessed and it will produce and produce and give you the best this is your african fruit farming queen priscilla Nyeria. i come from laikipia to wherever you are it doesn't matter the country it doesn't matter the county it doesn't matter the location it doesn't matter whether it is sunny like here it's very sunny and hot but i will still come to check on how your plants are doing be it apples dragon fruit peaches pixie oranges apricot nectarine grapes pomegranate soft seed pomegranate any name it any kind of fruit that you think of that's why i'm your african fruit farming queen priscilla Nyeria from wonderful heaven fruits orchard remember this is the only heaven on earth where you get to experience the garden of eden you know i am the eve of this particular farm of wonderful heaven and this is priscilla Nyeria, your girl see you in my next video which could be in your farm or my farm in laikipia county bye bye